Hello, everyone. Can you actually believe it? You know what this game is. This is a game that needs absolutely no introduction whatsoever. Final Fantasy VII. Squaresoft released, I think, around October 97. Uh, with some awesome score by Nubo Uematsu, who is like the king of video game music. You all need to listen to this. Let's get going. My God. Oh, yeah. So, Final Fantasy Seven. Nothing really prepares you for what these old polygon models used to look like. So let's kick some of this these guys ass. This game was huge and consistently won things like best best game of all time uh, on things like game FAQs and uh, IGN stuff like that. Um, it like comes up against people like. Um, what is it? Ocarina of Time. Uh, Final Fantasy VII and Ocarina of Time easily... Ooh! Achievement. Uh, easily some of the, the best games ever made, ever. And I want to I wanna look through this, go through this. I've uh, always wanted to play this game again. Uh, I've probably played it through maybe three or four times. Um, and it's just, it's just phenomenal. It's just great. Um, yeah, so let's get into the story. Biggs, wow, you used to be in Soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? This is just, he's just so confused. So this spiky haired blonde guy has quit and has uh, changed, changed, changed teams it seems, right. Now, how am I going to do this? Am I just going to have to do it with the old controls? I'm using the, uh, the keyboard at the moment. Um, so, and, and there isn't any, like, mouse options, and I, I did, um, I did set up all my keys so that I could use just one hand, and then realised that, uh, actually that's not going to be possible or, or useful. Oh, wicked. I can just fit my name in. 
Amazing. So this guy's name is usually Cloud, and uh, the first time I played through this game, I called him Big H. So my name is Hugh, and I thought that was cool, and I was like 12 or something. Um, so I forever thought, and this was the first Final Fantasy I ever played, so I forever thought that uh, this guy's name was actually Big H, and when I talk about it with my friends, I'd always think, oh yeah, but this is this is what Big H was doing, this is what I've got set up on Big H. Um, and it's just it's hilarious to me. <laughs> Barrett. Okay, we know what's going on, Barrett. Oh, and this iconic scene. Go, 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 Cloud. So we're all, uh, we're like some rebels and we're going to, um, or some activists, we're going to destroy a reactor here. Oh, random battles. Oh, it's been a while, it's been a while. So you can see this is, um, we've got an active time gauge, this uh, time slot on the bottom right with the, in the yellow um, charges up and when, when that reaches the top we can attack. Um, and up until until that point, you can't do anything except get attacked. But the enemies also have those active time bars as well. Awesome! More XP. Run! I keep forgetting how to run. Here we go. Here's the reactor. Da -da. So a bit of story here, um, talk, talking about how Quickstocks used to work for Shinra and how Shinra sucking out the lifeblood of the planet, almost like mining for oil, something like that. So Barrett there, I, I don't know if you noticed, he just walked inside me and that's how they used to um, used to get the characters to, to come along with you or to, to make it seem like they're, they're along with you in this game. So Barrett is there, but we couldn't we couldn't like it wasn't enough processing power or something, I don't know, on the old the old PlayStation 1, the old grey flying saucer. Let me let me just press this button here. And we wanna go to floor pi, like it says on the on the signal there. What are we on now? Barrett's gonna talk to us on the left. Seeing how uh, the reactors are draining the lifeblood of the planet, and just quick starts is just yeah, he doesn't care. He, he doesn't care what's going on. Yeah, come on, quick starts, you douche. So he's just being a mercenary at the moment. I wish I could leave Barrett just stuck in that position. That'd be quite funny. I'm just shaking, shuddering. Ah, let's go, let's go, Jesse. Oops. Oh yeah. So I'm just selecting attack at the moment. There's not really much else to select. If you get low on um oh, that music. If you get low on uh, health and stuff, you can use potions. I think they stock us up with a few potions at the start. Um, but uh, at the moment, I'm just going to try and save them. The early battles don't really need to uh, waste waste them. Oh, I just love every battle. Da -da -da. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so what's this saying? So you see we've got some uh, battle text up there then. It said a uh, warning about something. So I think this laser guy has locked onto us with a bigger attack and that's what it's warning us about. And you get that in other battles as well. And it'll become uh, important shortly. So you can see Barrett there on the right. He's, um, he's actually got this like attachment uh, to his arm. Uh, almost like hook, but like way cooler than Hook. He's got a Gatling gun for an arm. 
What a badass. Have you ever heard of anyone quite as badass as Barrett? The Gatling gun for an arm. Cool, got a potion. So Jesse's just uh, watching our six there. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah. Yay, safe point. Cool, cool, cool. Come on, Cloud. Shimmy it up. Oh, maybe shouldn't have uh, gone for the safe point. Got some more dudes to kill. Oh, big guy. Okay, let's kill the little guys. Kill the ads first. Kill the ads. Cool. Um, I don't know if it's good to kill the ads, actually. Oh, it's always it's always good in other RPGs to kill the ads. Pretty solid battle tactic. I wouldn't be surprised if Sun Tzu was around today. He'd give those kinds of tactics for RPGs. Kill the ads first. Kill the ads. Come on, lads. Kill the ads. I love this bit. Don't kill him yet. Oh. oh, I love all the synthesized sounds. Okay, let's get the save point. Uh, which is my menu button then? Hmm. Not that one. Hmm, this is going to be interesting if I can't... Where's my menu button? Okay, I'm pressing everything. I should have listened right at the start. Okay. There we go. <laughs> uh, what was it? I think it was B or N. Okay. So you can check uh, various guys' equipment, so as you can see, his weapon there is a Gatling gun. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, cancel. And let's get to our... Oh, and Clouds. Gotta check out Clouds. The Buster Sword. The famed, famed Buster Sword. So this, this game is like what Star Wars is for popular culture. You know, if you... If you have never seen Star Wars, or if you haven't played Final Fantasy, you don't really get what's going on in the world. You know, like so many, so many little things, little cultural references come from games like this, games like Zelda, uh, Mario, uh, what else, what else? Yeah, like Star Wars as well. Like, pretty much every day I see some, some reference to Star Wars. So... You guys gotta watch it. That's just my my little rant about popular culture. Okay, come on, quick talks. Get it done. Get it done. So you're just having a little memory there. What is it? What is it? What's going on? Sorry, bro. Okay. Set the bomb. OMG. This music too. Okay, so this guy, this guy is where these battle um, text comes into play. So he's searching there, so I can see that Barrett is going to be attacked next. And I can use special tactics and uh, make sure Barrett uses defend at that time, but I don't think it's really worth it at the moment. Um, because you can you can just press right here and defend. Ah, Barrett's got a limit break. So this is quite cool. I'll show you this. So, oh, more Chiefs. So Barrett does his little limit break there, and because this guy's mechanical, he'll die quicker to things like electric magic. So I'm going to use Cloud's bolt here. 
I wonder if I can get a defend in before he attacks. I don't think I can. Okay, what we got? Nope, can't get this defend in. Ow, that hurt. Right, now I'm a little bit a little bit cautious now because <laughs> do it. More chiefs. Oh my goodness, that was huge. Okay. Right, he goes into this defensive stance. And then the first time I played this, I just I just kept hitting hitting him. Attack while tails up. It's gonna counterattack with its laser. Okay, so we gotta just defend while this happens. Or he counters. And I just kept attacking him. I thought this boss was like the the hardest thing ever. And it's the it was the first Final Fantasy I'd ever played, so I was just I just didn't get it. I just didn't get what was going on. So should we defend again or should I just wait? I could just wait, I think. Or does it Yeah, there we go. Attack. Attack, lads. Da 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 da. Ba -da -da. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yes! And as you can see, it's like pretty piece of cake, so I just was such a nub back then. Did a little little. Did a little little. Assault gun, cool. I think that's a upgrade for Barrett already. Um, don't think we have time to check it out now. Come on, man! Oh my goodness, 10 minutes. And I gotta find this menu button again as well. Jeez. Okay, B, N, C. It's V. It's V. Save. Ah, uh, yeah, save over. Slot one. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. No! Oh, back attack. Um, now there's a... Oh, there we go. So there's a special thing you can do. If you get hit by a back attack, you get hit for twice as much damage, I think. Um, so it's it's good to try and... Uh, well, face troops, but you it's just random when you get hit by a back attack. So uh, it's nothing that's in your control. But there is... There is a thing uh, on the old game. Uh, if you press the the two the L and R buttons on the top, you'd start running away, and uh, that lets you escape battle if you want to. Um, so in this, if you just press that, if you just tap it, you turn your characters around, so you can um, you can just fight them head on and take less damage. I think that's the case anyway. You might still take that first bit of damage fully anyway. So I'm not not quite sure how it works. But I'm uh, stressing out a little bit now. Don't wanna, don't wanna actually die here. I'm gonna go and pop a potion afterwards. Yeah, kill the ads. Remember, remember what Sun Tzu said: kill the ads. Ah, I, I might be able to bolt. Oh no, I think I can only bolt single targets at the moment because you need you need to combine materia. And materia is the way you. You do magic. You have slots on your weapons and armor, and uh, they allow you to to slot magic into it. So I can put a um, a bolt materia into um, or a, a lightning materia into my weapon, and then I'm able to use that materia in battle or use the spells that are on that materia. Um, and materia is quite uh, quite prominent in the storyline in this game as well. It's uh, uh, so I won't, I won't spoil that yet. I'll just uh, let that come about as it happens. But Barrett will start to talk about it at some point. He's always harping on about it. Okay, let's get our asses out of here. Oh, Jesse, why aren't, why haven't you left yet, Jesse? This is, this is sketch up here. What's up, man? You all right, buddy? My leg got stuck. Cheers. TY or short for TY. T Let's get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, this music is so good. Ba 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 
It's a random battle, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Attack. Attack. I think, do these guys take two hits? I think it is two hits. How much damage are they doing to me? I need to be watching how much they can... Like, how close is Cloud to death now? 11. Okay, you got a number of hits left. Yeah. If we come up against someone a bit tougher, I might... Um, I might just pop a potion. I think the time still runs down while you're in those menus, so it's best to to keep trucking. Well, I could I could equip that assault gun, but you know when there's a timer going, you think you've got no time. But five minutes is a long time. I can easily press this pie button and go to floor pie. Floor six. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get out of here. Come on, lads. Get through the door. Talk to you. Nice one, Jesse. That was some quick programming. Nice one, Biggs. Um, oh, talking of Star Wars references, actually. So in every Final Fantasy game, there's a Biggs and Wedge. And Biggs and Wedge were the co-pilots of um, Luke Skywalker in Star Wars Episode Four. So get your Star Wars on. Get your Star Wars on. Awesome. Okay, more bombs. Man, we just love we just love bombing shiz. Yes. Oh man. Stop just chill, just chill. Just chill. We're good. Let's get out of here! Sect 8 station. Okay, so scramble. So I'm on my own now. And uh, I'm going to go the way that three of the other guys went. Oh. How could they knock? How could they knock someone down like that and just leave? Mmm, what happened? You better get out of here. Nothing. Hey. Don't see many flowers around here. Are these? Do you like them? They're only one gill. Do I have a gill? Gill is the money in this game. Yeah, I'll have a flower. Ah, oh, thank you. No, no more chat. No more chat. Look at these guys. I just want to kick their ass. How could you knock over a girl, man? And not even say sorry. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra and Mako energy. It doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet. Avalanche. So that's the company I was just working for. All the activists. Uh-oh. Uh, leaders. I don't have much health left. Oh crap. I'm trapped. <laughs> Grab him. Run, quick stocks. Yeah. Pretty steep incline for a train. Good job, Shinra. You build some good trains. I don't know what everyone's problem is with you. Oh, uh, Quick Attacks never made it, man. Barrett's got my back, though. He knows. He knows I'm good. And perhaps Quick Attacks is just listening on top of the train there. Yeah. Oh man, Barrett's so angry. He's he just 
He just needs to chill out a bit. Like, he's just thumping the wall, thumping those pixels. Let me in, man. Let me in. What's going on? Yeah! Like Indiana Jones. Indiana Quixa talks. Indiana talks. <laughs> oh man, he's so... He's so cool, isn't he? I think everyone in this is like... 17 or something. I think Barrett might be like... 30. He's supposed to be 30 or 35 or something like that, but... Um, the cloud is... I think he's only about 17. It's sort of a, a typical kind of um, thing in Japan to have the protagonists as like, these really young teenagers. Seems popular. Yeah man, because I just got blown up by a bomb. By several, because we can't stop setting bombs. No problem, man. So, Jesse, is Jesse a girl or is Jesse a guy? Anyone know? Does anyone know? Cool. So, I think uh, I think we can chill out a bit now. Just gotta. Oh, they all know. They all know, man. It's because he's got a flipping Gatling gun for an arm. Why do you try and keep a low profile, Barrett? Come on. At least try. The last train. Uh, the thing about the last train on the northern line. Some of you might want to avoid that. Oops. Okay. Oh, that's like a, a bum telling us. It's, uh, it's his home, this train. Okay, let's get out of here, man. Okay, let's sit down. I'm ready to sit down. I'm gonna ask this guy. Uh, ooh, ooh. Okay, alright, alright, calm. Be calm. Let's talk to Jesse. Wedge. So there's the wedge guy. Yeah, man. I felt like nothing but a sidekick. <laughs> After joining Avalanche and trying to save the planet, I feel like it can do lots of things. Okay, cool. Jesse, what's up? Hey, Kick Sarks, do you want to look at this with me? Uh, is that a proposition? I still don't know whether you're a guy or a girl, man. It's a map of the Midgar Rail System. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. Wicked. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs, monitors, you know, flashy stuff. It's about to start. Oh, yes. That is high res. Oops. So just telling us about the infrastructure. So there's there's eight reactors and we just toasted one of them. Um, and they're sucking up energy from the planet. And uh, each of these sections on the railroad have ID sectors that the train passes between. And uh, they check all of your identity, uh, all the identities of the passengers on the train. Here we go. This is, this is what it is. Man, you, you could have thought they'd make it less obvious, wouldn't you? If they're trying to ID people. I mean, I, I understand that um, these activists would know, because it would be a good thing to know this kind of stuff if you're trying to blow up reactors and, and shiz like that. But why would Shinra make it so obvious? Why would they put these epic red lights on? Pretty unsettling scenery. Ah, oh. although I'm really, it's really good that they haven't voice acted anything because you can just get much further into the story. Then, um, it, I, I do sometimes wonder what the voice of Cloud would be like, or the voice of Barrett. Uh, yeah, just like what, what is his accent? Is it like? Southern? Is he Southern American, or is he? Is he like? Perhaps he's from London, from London. That'd be 
Good. Cloud Strife from London. So I think Barrett's just trying to get a handle on uh, on what Quick Start's up to now. Man, it's huge. You get an idea for the scale of the um, of the city of Midgard. There we go. These are the uh, polygonals. Come on, lads, let's get out. <laughs> Barrett somehow fitted through that door. Cloud making a nice jump. I, that's the way I'm going to get off a train next time. Next time I get off a train, I'm just going to jump upright. Mission was a success. Don't get lazy. Hard part still to come. Don't you all be scared of that? Because the next one's going to be big. It's going to be huge. Let's go, go, go. Can I get this? Ah, save point. Wicked. Right. That's going to wrap this one up. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode back on uh, on the new PC release of Final Fantasy VII. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. Save. And I will see you guys next time.